Hi guys, it's Yen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this very nice pencil case without sewing. It's very easy and I think it looks super cute and I'm very proud of it. <laughs> so let's get started. Don't forget to click the subscription button so you don't miss any of my new videos. So we're going to use a piece of cardboard and we're going to trace four circles. I'm using a candle. You can use anything with a brand shape. And what's next? Yes, take your scissors and cut them out. On a piece of foam, we're going to measure the width using the zipper. It has to have the same width as the zipper. And the length has to do with the circle that we did before, that it's, are going to be the sides. So you're just going to roll up the foam over the circle. And then we're going to leave just a little space in the middle so the zipper can go there. And I'm going to mark it with a pen. And now you just have to trace it with the ruler, the square, and cut it out. This is going to be the inner part of our pencil case and after this we're going to put a bit of fabric on top of it and we're going to use also two foam circles so I'm going to take the candle as I did before and we're going to trace two foam circles and we're going to cut them out. And we're just going to stick the foam circles on top of two of the cardboard circles that we did before. So we have two cardboard circles with foam on top and two plain. So we have four in total. Now we're just going to grab a piece of fabric that we have and we're going to put like the square that we did before with foam and we're going to mark an inch at each side of the square and then we're going to cut it out And now we're just going to put silicon on top of the foam. You have to be sure that you have glue all over it. So I'm just going on a zigzag motion in the middle. And I also did the edges very well. And we're just going to stick it on top of the fabric. For doing the edges, I'm going to cut little triangles so we can fold it inside. And now we're just going to apply glue on the edges and we're going to fold in all the extra fabric that we left before when we cut it out. And this is going to give a more perfect look to the edges. So this is going to be the center of our pencil case. And we're also going to put fabric on the sides. So I'm cutting two pieces of fabric and I'm putting glue on the circles that have cardboard only. And with the circle that has the foam, we have to apply the glue on the foam side. That's very important. And we're going to stick it on top of the fabric. And to make it easier to fold it in, we are going to make little cuts using the scissors and I also decided that it would be easier if we cut a circle shape. So I just went with the scissors and I made a circle, like sort of a circle, but it really made it easier to do. 
And now we're just going to apply glue at the sides and we're going to fold in all the edges. Once you have all the fabric inside, you're going to take the other piece of cardboard and you're going to secure it, put it in on top and push in it. And you just have to repeat the same step with the other side. And now that we have all the pieces of our pencil case done, it's time to assemble it. So we're going to put the inner part of the pencil case and the zipper has to look towards it but downwards. So the upper part has to look towards the inner part. And we're going to stick one of the sides using glue as I'm doing. So I'm just going to apply only at one of the sides glue and I'm going to leave it dry and push it in there. And now it's going to look like this when you put it the other way around. Now we're going to stick the circles that we did before. So we're just going to apply glue at the sides. And we're going to take the circles and the fabric always has to look outwards, never in the inside, always outside, please. And we're going to start rolling it up. And it's a bit difficult, but you have to uh, just secure it for a few seconds so the glue uh, works. So yes, you just have to push it for a little until it's everything is glued. And this is how it's going to look. Now we're going to open the zipper and we're going to apply glue to the other side. And we're going to stick it to the other side so it can close. And I'm using some clothes pins to secure it. And you're just going to allow it to dry very well. And once it's dry, you just have to take the clothes pins and the, <laughs> it's going to be done. I mean, this is the easiest pencil case ever without sewing, but we're going to give it a final touch so I decided to make a tassel. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So I'm just cutting a little bit of cord and then I'm going around my three middle fingers a few times until I have enough quantity of cord. I'm going to cut one of the sides. And using the piece of cord that I left apart before, I'm going to make two knots to secure the middle. Now I'm going to fold it in half and using another piece of cord, I'm going to go around the top a few times and I'm also going to make some knots. Now you just have to cut the excess cord of the knots and also as you can see the fabric I mean the cord is looking terrible so we're just going to cut it so it's even and it has the same length and this way you have a very easy tassel that you can attach to the zipper and it's going to give it a very cute look to your pencil case and this is it I'm adding a tassel but you can do many things you can paint the fabric you can write letters you can put pins whatever your imagination has I always like DIYs because you always make something unique that you can't find at shops so tell me in the comments what do you think about this DIY if you would like to see more DIY back to school videos or pencil cases or maybe organization things leave me in the comments below telling me what other videos would you like to see this is Jenny I'm very grateful um, for being another video with you. I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if so, and I will see you next time. Love you!